And what's going on? Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com. Got another member request, this time with the 2.4 update for Native Instruments Machine. And I'm just going to go over a few basics of it. It's just basically so that you can seamlessly browse and edit your, uh, your machine hardware with some of your favorite third-party plugins. They have a new uh, NKS format now, which delivers kind of like a deep hardware and software integration between third-party plugins and uh, the manufacturers are now pre-tagging uh, a lot of the uh, the VSTs and AU plugins, for example, so that you get relevant tags uh, for these NKS instruments that also uh, show up inside your machine library uh, as well as your complete software. So um, they also extended the native map to uh, third-party instruments so that manufacturers can, you know, also design mappings and you know specifically you know, gear them towards pages that are very useful to you and, uh, you know, take advantage of machines, control knobs, things like that. Now with some of the, um, third party plugins, uh, they might not map, uh, right out the box. So you always can, you know, with most of them, you can right click, you don't use the MIDI learn uh, feature. You can do it that way. Okay. So yeah, I mean, what more can I say? I guess we'll go over a few of the, uh, features of this new software and this new powerful tag based uh, browser. All right. And taking a look at some of the tighter integration, uh, you guys are pretty much familiar with this area here, basically on your hardware controller, for example, I'm on the MK one right now, this is what the uh, member requested. So what you can do is you can press browse and your product list comes up where you can scroll through, you know, your product list and its attributes on this computer. I'm still working on some things on this one, but as you can see right there, there's the beast mode, um, banks they come up uh or rather i'm sorry you're at my uh, the nexus banks and you know you can just scroll through your banks like this here you know whether it's through contact you want to scroll through all your libraries you know if you want to target one specific generator that you're tagging for example i'm tagging and filtering some of the illmatic drum machine drum kits here you know i'm just getting started on that just to make it a lot more you know seamless and integrated and that's something that I will be um, working on pretty soon. And the Beast Mode Virtual uh, is pretty much done because that one, we did that one a long time ago. So a lot of the attributes was already here under the instrument icon. If you don't have the, the uh, complete control you know, keyboard, you always can use the right click uh, MIDI Learn feature. And you still can access certain attributes. You know, if you plug in, for example, as I'm doing here, you know, everything still maps out, you know, seamlessly. Do some of the uh, parameters here, volume, things of that nature. You know, it just makes life easy when you have everything seamlessly uh, integrated. And again, this is a uh, plugin that we have that's also powered by Contact. So you get a double threat because you're getting an amazing drum machine along with the power of Contact. Contact itself is one powerful uh, plugin to host itself. So another great thing about it, let me uh, go back to... contact menu all all right so i'm doing all this from the hardware controller you know you also can browse you know your favorites for example when the 2.3.1 update come out you have a favorite um button on here where you can you know if you click on that you know you can just uh if you just have certain instruments that you're in love with you know you just click on that you know if you want to add one you just add a little star you know next to it like this here but you know that's pretty self-explanatory no big deal there but you know for some that's a little quicker method to get things loaded. You know, if you want to load your plugins, you can press shift browse. You can load your plugins directly from uh, your hardware controller, you know, things of that nature. So it makes a incredible and seamless workflow with the new update. Another great thing about it, you have your plugins all in one place. Now, for example, if I click here, you immediately notice that it's uh bring these guys up here. You have your internal plugins up here, which you guys are pretty much familiar with. Your native instruments ones show up below that. And again, I'm still getting things loaded up in here. And all your third party plugins will show up below that. As you can see right there, I have some from Studio Link, Slate Digital, you know, Nexus, Linear, linear uh, Digital, you know, Isotope, you know, all the ones you guys are pretty much familiar with. Of course, VIP Sound Lab, that's us down there. You know, Waves, probably one of my most favorite manufacturers. So it just makes life easy to have all your plugins in one little spot down there, nice and neat, you know, for seamless 
integration of loading your plugins and all this can be done from your hardware controller and that's the emphasis for the new 2.4 update to have that seamless integration between your hardware and your software you know and now manufacturers you know having the ability to actually create these nks instruments you know to make pages that are relevant you know to faster workflows machine is just going to get better and better and better so that's pretty much it not much to it um yeah, just brief and straight to the point. Just want to get these questions answered really quickly. You know, if you guys have any other questions or concerns, hit me up. Shaboy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Be sure to come by the website, www.VIPSoundLab.com for free drum kits each month, free controller editor templates, session files, uh, things of that nature. We give a lot of free goodies away on the site, you know, such as uh, session files. So you guys can get certain workflows set up, you know, just for the ease and convenience of it. And best of all, no monthly fees. All right, so that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on the next one, and I'm out.